Salah Ja'far ibn Abi Talib. Salah Ja'far ibn Abi Talib, I have a few, a few minutes left. Let me try to uh, discuss Salah Ja'far ibn Abi Talib. I am going to read the fatwa directly. So no raja al matlubiya no. It is an authentic Salah. Sayyidi Sistani Dama Dhullu says it's narrated by Mutawatir Hadith. Not one narration, not two narration, not two. When we ask people, do you have any uh, evidence that uh, Salat al Raghaib was uh, our Imams practice it? No, they don't give us any evidences. You see, they say Malik ibn Amr Anas narrated. And the, so so basically, in the school of Ahlul Bayt, Ali Musalatu Sam, it is not been narrated by our Aimmas. If it was so important, why did our Imams did not practice? So anyhow, coming back to this Salah Jafar. So Salah Jafar ibn Abi Talib, unlike many other Salahs which were not seen, our Imams, they practice. This was seen by our Imams practicing, telling others, like we saw now this uh, hadith of Imam Ridha al -Islam. Even in some of the uh, incidences, the 12th Imam Ajjal Allah Ta'ala Farajahu Sharif was seen offering this Salah, uh, in a uh, haram of Imam Rudha alayhi salatu wasalam, in an incident, uh, I, I don't have time to go through, but regardless of this incident, that incident, there is a tawatur, there is a lump sum fact that, fact that this salat is authentic and narrated. So you don't need to do uh, make the intention raja al matlubiya. You just make the intention, Ya Allah, I'm offering salat Ja'far bin Abi Talib, qurbat ta'ala. And remember, we said, be inclusive to others. You see, the more you think of others, this otherness is opposite of selfishness. So the more you think of others, the more Allah loves your salah, the more Allah loves you. So include, who should I include? Your relatives. Ya Allah, I am offering the salat on behalf of my relatives, on behalf of my beloved ones, those who love me, on behalf of those who have bestowed favors upon me, those, I, this is a favor. I hope that you, on the day of judgment, I can repay their favor because many people, they offer you favor. They love you. You cannot pay them back their favor, especially if they love you. So the, this is something you hope that, Ya Allah, I please this guy did amazing thing for me. So please, Ya Allah, uh, um, forgive his sins. And I'm offering this salah on his behalf as well. So you do niyabat. Niyabat means on behalf of somebody in representation. So in Mustahab, you can do niyabat for the living people and the dead people. Sharan, there is no problem. Religiously, there is no problem. So I'm offering this salah on behalf of myself, my beloved relatives, my wife, my children, my and them, all the relatives. And then my on behalf of my beloved ones and on behalf of the ones uh, whom have bestowed favors upon me and on behalf of those whom I have wronged them. And uh, they have not forgiven me. Madhalimul ibad. Oh my goodness! Please don't forget those who you, whom you have wronged in your salah. Because on the day of judgment, when they come with the case in front of Allah, Allah can present a case also. See, you bring the case. I, this guy also prayed for you and and included you in his dua. So uh, should I forgive you because of his dua, or should I hold you accountable and I punish him as well because of your case? So be, no, 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 Ya Allah, if you have forgiven me because of his, his du'as, I will forgive him. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala try to, tries to negotiate with those people who are connected with him by presenting forgiveness to those people whom we have wronged if we are strongly connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So please remember this intention. Now we come and see whatever we can uh, from the from the uh, rules of Ayatollah al-Umma Sayyid Ali Sistani. Salah Ja'far. It is called Salah to Tasbih, Salah of Glorification. Why? Because it has 300 times, Subhanallah, Walhamdulillah, Wa La Ilaha Illallah, Wa Allah Akbar. How? You, you say Allahu Akbar, and you start reciting Surah Al-Hamd, and Surah Ida Zulzilat al ardu Zilzala. If you don't have not memorized it, you can, Ayatullah Sistani says, you can recite any other Surah, but it's afdal, better. If you want, you can hold your Quran. It's okay. Your iPhone, but don't chat. Uh, Subhanallah, Bismillah, oh, chatting started. No, you are reciting surah now, no chatting while. So you can hold your cell phone, but don't chat because you are now takbirat al ihram disconnected. You and your Lord are communicating with each other. Don't bring a third person uh, in your chatting system. Okay, so you are you can recite Surah Al Ida Zulzila. If you are afraid you can you might be messed up with so many chatting, just hold a small, a small uh, paper with Ida Zulzila Al Ardu Zilzala. 
So, Surat Ida Zulzilat Lam Fuzilzala. In the first rakat, Surat Ida Zulzilat Lam Fuzilzala. In the second rakat, Surat Wal Adiyati Dabha. They are side by side in the Quran. Okay? Surat Wal Adiyati Dabha. And we, we are done with the two rakat. Same like Salat al Subah. Okay, this is the bone, the skeleton. And then the third rakat and the fourth rakat. In the third rakat, you are going to recite either Ja'a Nasrullahi wal Fath. And the fourth rakat, you are going to recite Qul Allah. This is the skeleton of Salah Jafar. Now we put the meat inside it. What is the meat? 300 times Subhanallah wa Alhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah wa Allahu Akbar. How do we divide it? In each rak'ah, 75 times. How many times? Repeat after me. 75 times you are going to say Subhanallah, Walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wa Allahu Akbar. It's amazing dhikr. I can't speak now because my time is done. Later on, I'm going to talk just about this tasbih and tahmid. How great dhikr it is that Allah has made it obligatory in our salat, in our third and fourth rak'at. Subhanallah, Walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wa Allahu Akbar. So, in your Qiyam, after you are done with Surat Ida Zulzilat al Ardu Zilzala, or Surat Al Adiyat, or Surat Al Nasr, or Surat Al Tawheed, you are going to say 15 times Subhanallah, Walhamdulillah, Wala ilaha illallah, Wallahu Akbar, Subhanallah, Walhamdulillah, Wala ilaha illallah, Wallahu Akbar, Subhanallah, Walhamdulillah, 15 times. You have 15, 15 times. Okay? So after you are done, you'll go to Rukur. Subhana Rabbi Al Azim, you are Hamdih. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ni Muhammad. Count with me. So in Qiyam it was 15. Now in Ruku, 10 times. Subhanallah, you have 10 fingers. Okay? You can count with these 10 fingers. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wa Allahu akbar. 10 times. Then, Sami Allah wa liman hamida. How many have we had done? 15 plus 10, 25. Again, Sami Allah. Before you go to the sujood, this is Qiyam again. Subhanallah wa alhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah wa allahu akbar. Subhanallah wa alhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah wa allahu akbar. So 10 times. How many are these now? 25. You go to sujood. Subhana rabbi al-a'la wa bihamdih. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ni Muhammad. Subhanallah wa alhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah. 10 times in sujood. Okay? You can count like with fingers and they are touching the ground. It doesn't matter. Okay? And then you sit for astaghfirullah rabbi wa atubu ilayh. Ten times. Subhanallah wa alhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah wa Allahu akbar. Subhanallah wa alhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah wa Allahu akbar. Ten times. Go back. How Are you keeping the count or not? Go back to sujood. Ten times. S same thing. You Before you stand up, before you say, Bihawlillahi wa quwwatihi aqoomu wa aqa'ud. Ten times. Subhanallah wa alhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah wa Allahu akbar. Or in the second rakat, before you start tashahud and salam to end the salat, 10 times. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah. So now, how many? Qiyam, I know some of you got lost in the count. We'll count again. Qiyam, 15. 25. 35. 45. 55. 65. 75. Multiply by 4. 300 times. Fantastic. You In the beginning, shaitan will say, oh, it's long, so it takes only 20 to 25 minutes. Okay? Um, shaitan will tell you, oh, it's a long salah. Fight the shaitan. Say, a'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim. Kick the hell out of your life. Kick him, kick him out of your life. So, once you have done this 300, in the last sujood, before you stand, there's a dua. Many people, they have not, they can't memorize it. So, that's the dua of hajat. So when you sit, okay, keep the du'a. Before you start reciting 10 times, subhanallah, walhamdulillah, of the pre-tashahud and pre-salam, before you end your last fourth rakat, you'd read the du'a from your cell phone or from your piece of paper. And then there's this hajat. Do your hajat. Utlub your, uh, do whatever you ask Allah, Allah will give you, inshallah. Okay? So the biggest haja we have is this evil of this virus. For all our beloved ones around the earth and for the whole earth, okay, for all the peaceful people, whether they're Muslim, non-Muslim, everybody, we should include every single, because Imam Ali told Malik, national people are too. They are your brothers in religion or same. So every peaceful human being, we will pray for them that, Ya Allah, keep this evil away from every peaceful human being. And if you want to really want to hurt somebody, 
he heard those evil ones who have been murdering in the way method of salah. And then after Salat al-Ja'far, there are some du'as. Salat al-Ja'far ibn Abi Talib. Few masail and we are done for today. These masail are from Al-Urwat al-Wuthqa, book of Sayyid, um, Yazd al-Tabatabai. Sayyid al-Sistani Damadullah has made comments on it. Wherever he disagrees with Sayyid Yazdi, he tells, no, I disagree with them in this fatwa. Uh, the masail of Salah Ja'far ibn Abi Talib, he is agree in agreement with all the masail except for two. And I'm going to tell you in those masail what is the ruling of Sayyid Sistani Damadullah and not Yazdi Tabatabai. Okay, so let me just quickly help you with this masail. Now, Salah Ja'far ibn Abi Talib, according to the fatwa of Sayyid Sistani, you can merge in with Salah. Like, remember, if you have a ghusl mustahab, mustahab ghusl of Friday, let's say the Friday was the day of Eid, and the Friday you were in Mecca, Friday you were going to do tawaf, so you can include the ghusl of tawaf, ghusl of in, uh, entering the Kaaba, ghusl of entering the Mecca, ghusl of Friday, you can include all these intentions in one ghusl. Similarly, you can do with Salah Jafar Tayyar, it's inclusive. You can make all the intentions with all the salawat of Raja al matlubi available there and say, Ya Allah, I'm offering Salah Ja'far ibn Abi Talib on the, the salawat which are mentioned for 15 Sha'ban, for this thing and for that thing. And for Nafila even. So this sister says you can merge in with Nafila. Okay, if you want to offer nighttime prayer, offer Salah Ja'far ibn Abi Talib and then the remaining uh, Shafa and Watar and all this you can offer. So you'll get the thawab of Salah Ja'far ibn Abi Talib plus the nighttime prayer. So it is inclusive. Remember this. It can inclusive. If you are going to play Salat Raghaib, include Salat Raghaib in Salat Ja'far and offer Salat Ja'far. So you are going to get the thawab of everything. As far as increasing surahs in the Salat, any Salat, even Vajibat Salat, our Maraja, they say, you can increase anything which is dhikr of Allah, but not with the intention of being part of the Salat, with the intention of dhikr al-mutlaq, absolute, because Salat, in uh, Okay, so Quran, I mean, Salat is a dhikr of Allah. So whatever dhikr of Allah you want to include in Salah, you can include in Salah as long as you don't mention that it is part of Salah. It is an absolute mentioning of Allah. So those extra surahs which are not in Salah Jafar, you want to mention because of other Salat, they mention, you can include it because Salah Jafar is inclusive. So those, those surahs will be with the intention of Raja al matlubiyah because the original Salat, that Salat is Raja al matlubiyah So it's not going to be part of Salah Ja'far. Part of Salah Ja'far is uh, those surahs I mentioned and the Tasbihat. This is the structure and the bone. But if you want to add any dhikr of Allah inside Salah Ja'far, it is permissible, especially if it is Quran, so surahs of the Quran or du'as or dhikr. So it is inclusive in that, uh, in that manner. So this is number one. So you can, uh, you, instead of praying Maghrib and Isha and two, two rakat, you can pray two, two rakat Salah Ja'far and then uh, include the intention of uh, uh, Ghufayla and the intention of two rakat Nafila. You, it's an inclusive Salah. That's number one. There's no specific time. There are people that have misconception. Oh, it is only offered in the Haram of Imam Rudha alayhi salam. It is only offered on the Jum'ah uh, in the morning. No, 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 no. Those are like, see, Ghusl. There are so many ghusls, but the special, like fasting, every day fasting in the holy month of Sha'ban is mustahab. Fasting 30, 13th and 14th or 15th Sha'ban is more mustahab. Don't forget, okay? Don't forget. Monday, tu no, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, three, three days, please fast. You're, most of you are in isolation in home. So fast, you're not going to become tired or whatsoever, but you are going to get great thawab on these three days of fasting in the middle of Shaban. So fasting is recommended anytime. Salah Jafar bin Abi Talib is recommended anytime. But there are special days like 15 Shaban, like Imam Rada alayhi salam said. In the side, inside of Haram, all the shrines of Masumin alayhi salam in Mecca, in Medina, in all, wherever you go in the shrine of in Masum, and offer the Salah Jafar and give it hadiyah. Ziyarat Warith, when you offer Ziyarat Warith, these two rakat we are offering after Ziyarat Warith, make Salah Jafar ibn Abi Talib and give it hadiyah to Imam Hussein. It will be more beautiful hadiyah. Okay, so whatever Salah you want to offer, 
mustahabbat. You can include that intention in Salah Ja'far ibn Abi Talib and it takes the, it carries the Raja al Matlubiya Salat, the weak Salat in its strength. So because say, say this is Tani says, this is Mutawatir Salat. So that is number one that you get. Now let's say, so, so anytime you can offer, but whenever there are special days, the thawab becomes greater. Like 15 Shaban, the thawab is greater. Whenever there are special uh, special places, Mecca, Medina, Haram of Imam Hussein, Haram of uh, Imam Mu'minin Salam, Haram of Masumin Alayhi Salam, thawab becomes greater. So it is about greater thawab. Friday morning, the thawab becomes greater. 15 Shaban, the thawab. Like fasting. Fasting is normally mustahab except for the two days uh, of Eid, which is Haram and Ashura, it's Makroh. Other than that, it's every time Mustahab. And the more the days are great, the more the Thawab is great. Like Friday, people, they have misconception. Oh, Friday is Eid, we can't fast. This is not our ideology. This is the school of companions. They have this ideology. Friday, we don't fast. It's Eid. No, we have Eid al-Ghadir, we fast. Friday, we fast. And the two Eids, we don't fast. Eid al-Fitr, Eid al-Adha, Haram. But Eid al-Ghadir is Mustahab to fast. It's Eid for us. Eid, uh, uh, Friday is Eid. It's mustahab to fast. It's one of the important days of fasting in the school of Ahlul Bayt, alayhi salatu wasalam. So therefore, Salat Ja'far ibn Abi Talib can be offered anytime, any day, uh, subuh or for dhuhr or for maghrib. Num another thing, nafila salat, you can offer by walking. If you're walking to your work and it's going to take 20, 25 minutes, Offer Salah Ja'far bin Abi Talib. But how can I do Ruku? Should I do Ruku on the, on the street? <laughs> or what? No. Your Ruku will be like nodding your head. Subhan Rabbil Azim ya bihamdi. Subhan Rabbil Ala wa bihamdi. So you nod your head. Subhan, you just nod your head. Subhan Rabbil Azim. And keep walking by looking straight. So now you are in the Ruku. Like you know the gear change. So one nod is your gear change. But if you are driving your car and you plan to do, then don't nod please. <laughs> Even if you are insured, don't nod because you will end up somewhere else. So just blink your eye. Like, for example, uh, I, I've done Qiyam, okay, and I'm driving. A blink, Subhanahu wa ta'ala, wa alhamdulillah, wa salli ala Muhammad, wa subhanallah, wa alhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wa alhamdulillah, on the steering, I can count, okay? So I'm done with a, ru a ruku'ah, a blink, sujood, a blink. So like the automatic shift uh, car, <laughs> but don't worry, if you blink so many times, it will not be like Rukusu Judu, Rukusu Judu, oh, whatever then. <laughs> Don't worry about that. It will be only based on your intents. And you blinked one blink, that was your Ruku. So now you blink two, three blinks. It's not like Sujud, Rukusu Judu, Rukusu Judu, like fast forward. That, that's not going to happen because you, you made your intention for specific thing. So it's it's all about intention. These are something to, for you to keep your count about this is Ruku. And this is the stages, like stages. They go for you. You're, you are going from one stage to another stage. So this is you can walk. You are on the treadmill. You can do. You are on the cycle. You can do. So don't waste your time without zikr of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. And these days, Masha Allah, you're in isolation. Do the Salah Jafar ibn Abi Talib as much as you can. Trust me, the Salah Jafar ibn Abi Talib will wash the Corona away, not from you, from your neighbors, from your beloved ones. This is so much powerful impact for the dua of a mu'min. That dua of mu'min is not just for him. Because mu'min always thinks for others. So it includes other people as well. So this is one of the things which we can do every day to prepare ourselves to spiritually to come and meet the day of 15 Shaban and offer the Salat and 15 Shaban as well.